Okay, so I want to talk real quick about the social media stats tab at the end of the spreadsheet because it's kind of a special case and is a bit of both 2017 review and 2018 goal setting. So when you're reviewing 2017, you can enter your numbers here and this blue column for your fans, followers, subscribers, and traffic numbers as of the end of the year. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So you only need to worry about entering numbers that you know are important to you. Uh, I'm not even on Snapchat, so I'm not entering anything here. Um, you can rename those to be other venues like your Shopify site or whatever. You know, if you have a second Facebook group, you can enter that here. Just use this in whatever way is going to be most helpful for you. For your traffic, you could enter, you know, your total visits or page views for the year, or you could come up with a monthly average. Um, I'm going to go with a monthly average here. These are just made up numbers, so it doesn't matter. But um, I would go with a monthly average and then do the monthly actual throughout the year so that you can hopefully see those numbers increase and compare apples to apples. So this is what you, you would enter what actually happened at, on the last day of 2017 or around then, whenever you start goal setting. And then you would set your goals for where you want to be by the end of 2018. So I will do that real quick. Okay, so I've set some goals. Um, and then throughout the year, you would update this at the end of each month saying what your stats are at then. So I wanna show you how to make a plot graph with this data real quick, cause I think that's gonna be pretty interesting. So I'm gonna fill it in with some example data so we can do that. All right, so I've entered some example data here just to get us started. So let's say you wanna plot all of this out on like a line chart so that you can see the trend of how everything is doing. Okay, so you would highlight what you want to graph, including your, you know, category, your row names, and your column names with the dates. Um, I wouldn't include the goal because we're not there yet. That's just for us to compare where we want to go. And then insert a line chart. You have a few different options, what you want it to look like. I'm going to go with marked line. And then I'm going to increase this so that I can see a little bit better what's going on. You can, you can add in data labels if you want. You can make it, um, you can make it say the actual value if you want to be able to see the number, which I personally don't like. And you know, you can click, check out all these different layouts and play around with it to make it look like how, however you want it to look like. I'm not a fan of what's going on here now, but um, that is how you can make a line graph just to get a better visual representation of what's going on.